You're in a truly exciting sector, wind energy, but it would seem many investors still need convincing of the business case for wind power. So how would you sum it up? I don't really know if I completely agree with you regarding the need to convince investors of the business case for wind power. Look, we shall not forget that Europe is the leading continent regarding renewable energy. In 2009, the European Union adopted a new Renewable Energy Directive, which set the target of achieving 20% of the energy from renewable sources by 2020. This target establishes that by the time 34% of the electricity demand in Europe shall be from renewable sources and that 14% has to come from wind. Each European country has drawn up his national renewable energy action plan and it seems completely possible to achieve the targets stipulated by the European Union. In Europe, around 40 to 50 percent of the capital of the wind farms belongs to the utilities, but still at least another 50 percent belongs to private equities, pension funds, insurance companies, or even private investors. And I think that uh, the interest still exists. Sooner or later, the financial crisis will go away and business will return to normal. And who knows if it will be still possible to achieve the dream of having in 2050 a Europe 100% powered by renewable energy. So from a business perspective, where is the money going to be in the wind energy sector in the future? Will it be owning the real estate, building the turbines or distributing the energy? Well, this is not an easy question to answer. Let us try to foresee what the future will be like. In the onshore wind business, the good sites tend to become scarce. They sure will be effect but the turbines will tend to become more powerful. In other words, have a higher capacity and be more efficient. That means that uh, to install a wind farm with a certain capacity, we will need less turbines and a small area. In other words, the land may tend to become more expensive, but as we will need less land, I don't think that land will be where the money will go. Recently, a lot uh, of the available money used to go to turbines manufacture. The demand for turbines was much higher than the capacity of the suppliers. Today, the situation is different. With the lack of financial resources, it has been very difficult to install new capacity. In this circumstance, the manufacturers have significantly lowered price in the future, the distribution of money will depend a lot on the way business will progress. If demand will tend not to overtake supply capacity, then the manufacturers will have to split the margins with developers and uh, make operation and maintenance a complement of the margin they get from the sale of the turbines. I think that uh, the offshore operation and maintenance will have a lot in developing this side of the business. Iberwind is the market leader in Portugal. It's a great location on the Atlantic coast. So what is Portugal doing to take a lead in renewable energies? Portugal is one of the best countries in Europe as far as onshore wind is concerned, with a load factor around 27 to 28 percent. The wind industry in Portugal already directly and indirectly employs around 3,500 people. Portugal has undergone impressive development in recent years in all wind energy related activities. Today Portugal produces a significant part of the major components for turbines, for internal market and for export. And uh, its National Renewable Energy Action Plan targets an installed wind generation capacity of 6.9 gigas by 2020. One striking feature of Ibo Wind is how lean the company is, and that hasn't happened by accident, right? Right. You know these things never happen by accident. 
First, you have to define a few things. How are you going to settle our corporate structure? Believe me, it has a lot to do with administrative paperwork. Next, how are you going to manage your main activity, operation and maintenance? Are you going to do it ourselves? Are you going to subcontract all the activity? Or are you going to choose a hybrid solution? And how much of the data that we can receive from doing farms do you want to process, analyze, and study? Finally, you just have to act and try to shape the company according to the characterization and decisions previously taken. Honestly, it sounds easier than it really is. Indeed, your efficiency has been recognized by consultants such as McKinsey. You came out with a lot of credit from a benchmarking exercise McKinsey carried out. What are the details there? Well, in 2010, uh, we were invited by McKinsey to join seven other European wind energy producers to participate in a benchmark study. There were basically five criteria to be analyzed. Two were related to, to technical performance, time and energy availability and efficiency of the turbines, and three were related to economic aspects. In the end, we got two first places, two second places, and one third place. The result was good, and the study was important, because we were made more aware of, of our relative position among other relevant European players, and also because we became more aware of the areas where we still need to improve. So where is renewable energy going to be, realistically, in 10, 20 years' time? Well, this is the type of question that we would love to know to answer to. Today is even more difficult to answer since nobody seems to be able to foresee when the economic crisis is going to finish. But one thing we know, oil and hydrocarbons are limited resources and our reserves seem to be decreasing. Europe imports today 50% of the energy it requires. If we do not change policies, by 2030, Europe will need to import around 70% of its needs. The emphasis on renewable energy and the gradual transformation of the present e economy into a much lower carbon-consuming economy could be an answer to our problems. If that will lead to a 100% renewable power system in Europe by 2050, I don't know. It may be possible to achieve, but it is very hard to believe. A fair combination of renewables where wind and hydro energy will play an important role together with gas seem to me to be a much more realistic alternative. Navarro Machado, thank you very much.